2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yo guys, Josh here, and before we get to talking about this type of sprinter, or this type of motion speed, let's get back to talking about the Veruk Runner. So, obviously, each zombie's black, from World of Warbucks 1 to Black Ops 2, 3, and 4, there's always a specific type of sprinter zombie now for World at War, and only the World at War of, of Veruk you have, what I call the Veruk Runners. Now, these runners are... Mm, a, quite a bit faster than the normal sprinter so yeah that's that so and then now we get to black ops 1 so yeah look at you see on the bottom screen the speed in the top screen to the movement speed of these guys so obviously these are in call of the dead and or moon obviously when george yells the zombie increases in speed and yada 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 that is the black ops version of super speed so now for Black Ops 2, we have the bus sprinter or the yeah, or the bus runner. Now don't worry, these guys will never ever run the speed running directly after a player. It only happens when they're running after the bus. And if you fall off the bus, they just become normal sprinters if they run after you. So now we're going to get into the main bulk of this video. And yes, I did do this challenge, which everyone did like a few weeks ago. Uh... So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in a second I will freeze frame and I'll show you what the Veruk Call the Dead bus sprinter zombie looks like. And yes, uh, just imagine if you will, imagine the Veruk runner, Call the Dead, and or the transit sprinter all combined it into one. Guess what that would look like? That. That zombie there is what is, that was what I'm talking about. You see his movement speed? He he moves at the speed. Okay, yeah. You see the motion too? And number one, he kind of looks like a Veruk runner. Like his motion is is running like that. Number two, his, uh, his attack speed and movement speed is like also uh, Call of the Dead. Because his motion is like looking funny and stuff. And the bus sprinter because of how... Look at how fast these guys move. Now, as you could see, I had stamina, and I still couldn't outwalk these guys. They were still attacking me and getting me. This was pissing me off, the freezing. And believe it or not, even if you have the ice pick, which you're supposed to break the ice in one hit, it still doesn't work. It doesn't break it in one hit, so yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering, what about Black Ops 3? What speed zombie was in Black Ops 3? Black Ops 3 has what I said, call the dead runners in it like a like in black ops one so yeah black ops 3 is annoying because if you wait long enough on round one and the round one and the last zombie around one despawns it'll become a call of the dead runner on round one which is i found pretty bs but uh <coughs> you know the, you know also when i looked back at the uh when i looked back at the tech or you know the alpha omega uh, one, you know, the round 200 on Alpha Omega, that one, the zombies also did move at that super speed. Now, you know, it's kind of hard to determine. It, it really is hard to determine, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming on all eight maps, there's, there will be a specific round that the zombies will start becoming this. The Veruk Call of the Dead bus sprinter. That's some BS though. Like, look at the speed these guys. I had stamina and I still couldn't outwalk them. I'm like, wow. Oh, and if you're wondering how this is done, getting to round 200, you just have to let yourself get frozen in 10 specific spots. Oh, and also, all 10 of those specific spots are pretty obvious because they're all like different locations. Just basically get frozen in every single water that's like separated from itself. So each individual one. So, yeah. So, uh, the Tagner Toten one was a little different because he had to wait until there's like 15. The the counter said 15 on the, the Nuketown sign. And then in that room, there would be the orb, follow the orb. And then you type in a code and, and then round 200, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it, you know, round 200 zombies didn't even seem almost any affected by Winner's Whale. <clears throat> Look, at even, even the electrical guys were running at that speed. 
you know, I really don't know what to say to this because, you know, I don't know, I don't know what sick, uh, creator or developer thought it would be a good idea to put these zombies like look at look at i can barely outwalk these and i have stamina as my modifier oh and ps i always use stamina as my modifier because it's the most useful one now i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh no oh wait no you guys can't comment that's right thanks to youtube these zombies are attacking so quick oh so i just need to let you guys know a little one quick thing you're probably wondering why am i the only youtuber oh and ps this next half i tried to do cinematic look from like different views and stuff so you're probably wondering why did i set my entire channel for kids it's a long story see back in 2010 or my first channel was 2005 to 2010 now i don't know what i did in 2010 but i don't think i followed the rules or something my channel my first channel was terminated and, you know, I still to this day have not gotten over that because I had a video on that first channel that I posted in, like, December 2005. It pisses me off because if the channel wasn't terminated, guess what? I would be one of those few rare YouTubers that had actual proof that he was doing videos 2005. Now, I don't care what I know everyone, everyone's going to think they're like, oh, you're just saying it. I still have almost all the original videos from 2005 to 2010. So I know no one's really going to believe me. But yes, I've been at the game, YouTube game for 15 years now. Still haven't hit 100,000. I've put more effort and work in my videos and more time on doing videos than like PewDiePie or even some of those other way big YouTubers. So yeah. Let's get back to the COPPA and the family friendly. So like I said, lost my first channel because of not following the rules. So I was not going to not follow the rules because I do not want to start a third time. Like my first channel, about 8,000 to 10,000 subscribers, 250 videos when it got terminated. And I just started all over again. And it took me five years to get to 10,000. Oh boy. All I have to say is, uh, yeah. So, all yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, thank thank YouTube for doing this, for not following the rules and breaking the law, and not uh, not no one answering to breaking the law. See, that's what pisses me off. Anyone who's super rich, they I guess they can just break the law and get away with it, and no one goes to jail. Which is the YouTube CEOs should go to jail. And the new CEO of YouTube, that lady, she has no clue what she's doing. I've seen interviews and stuff about talk stuff. She ignores all the facts and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, and just like always, bye bye. Uh, what are you guys doing? Video's over. It's done. Can't you tell because of uh, all the picture frames right there. Oh, they're showing that stuff. Alright.